Hello and welcome to The Long View with me, John Jordan. Today we're looking at uh, Battlestar Galactica Squadrons. So we're on day three of the game. It's currently in soft launch in Canada, um, obviously based on the uh, TV series, based on the film Battlestar Galactica. Um, so we can see here a few nice little touches. So we're kind of moving the camera around here. This is our kind of hub screen. A few things we've been doing. So we've been doing some battles, um, not vast enough to be honest, but I'm getting the hang of the game. We're only on day three. So let's go in and see what we've got here on this notification. So we've got this, um, this is a daily, daily notification kind of thing. I've leveled up um, some ships, so I get some rewards. I've collected a DRAS reward, whatever those are. I've collected those, so there's a few of the things I've not done yet. Open blueprints, recycled ships, so we see. Kind of a typical daily um, cycle. Um, and then an objective thing, which is just a, a, a kind of more uh, achievement kind of timeline. So I've had a ship at level 10, so I get some stuff for that. And I have an alpha ship at level 10. So some more goodies. Okay, and uh, now I'll go back to the daily one. I've got something else there, have I? Yeah, uh, I collected tech 10 times, okay, so. Okay, so there's a few other things we can do. We can go, so there's a card collection game. We can go and we get a free uh, pack here. So let's see what we get. Get some water, which is the resource. Get some of that, <laughs> which is energy cubics, which is another resource. Um, and we get a blueprint. So blueprints are useful for making, uh, getting new spaceships. Um, we can see um, track uh, packs as ever. There's different types of packs. More uh, expensive packs will get you more um, more things and more better quality things. So no surprises there. Okay, so let's go into the hangar. So the hangar is where we have our ships. So it's very car based. Um, you kind of can level them up. You can see I haven't got any resource. I've only got six of this resource. So I can't level them up. Um, so we go off and build some ships. So this is um, kind of where the card system works. I've got some blueprints. So let's go and fire those up. It costs a bit of currency, a bit of water to uh, to uh, create them. So we can see these are the uh, ones that we got. Um, we see it says the top bronze ships cannot be transferred into elite versions. That gives you an idea that these are different kind of values. So these ones are these are the elite ones. You can see it says on the bottom right there the elite. So um, there's different. Um, so what you can do is then you, the ones you don't want to use you can recycle. So say these ones we don't want to use, we can hit recycle. So do you want to recycle this ship? You gain some of this currency and some um, items. So again, for kind of card collection games, this is kind of fairly uh, standard. So then, of course, now we've got 74 of those. So I might go in and I've got a Viper Mark II and a Viper Mark II. So interesting one if I can use one to level up the other one. Um, uh, I don't have resources to do that. Um, what have I got? So if we just um, let's put everything that's any half decent that we can level up. Okay, so there's the Vulture. Actually, do I want to keep that one? Probably not. Uh, can I do that? So again, the Raptor. So the Raptor's got an interesting one. Let's see, it has a ability to um, call a reinforcement. Um, so that's good. Um, so let's level him up. Okay, so that's so that's kind of where we are with the meta game. And we see there's the the. Um, I've got a few more things to do here, so we can retrieve some more stuff. This is from our daily um, daily list of things to do. So again, everything we do as we'd expect in the free to play mobile game with good meta game which this certainly has um, card based games it's easier to do really um, we get little bits of resource all the time and that always obviously keeps us interested keeps us doing stuff keeps us progressing no matter where that's we we're progressing in the in the game which we'll go into um, or progressing in the meta game which is leveling up and getting more ships okay so we go to a battle we hit the battle you can see here we're still early on obviously only day three um, so I'm on number seven, so we can see here, um, these are the enemies above, possible rewards. Okay, let's go in. So I can get to choose three of my ships. I use a bit of energy to play. So the interesting thing that's happened from the first video I did, the user, first time user experience, is autoplay has come on, has been, um, is now, um, you can play autoplay, sorry. Um, 
says at the bottom of the screen here, so I just hit that because all play. It's interesting in the tutorial, it didn't really explain this at all, it just kind of assumed, I guess, that if you knew what, <laughs> what you were doing, you would um, get on with it. I suppose the other thing is in the, it's in the um, Marine software launch, so there will be a tutorial adding, uh, added to just explain about that. So we can see here, what we see is, is uh, my four ships, or three ships and this ghost ship. The ghost ship is the one that's been summoned, that was the special power we looked at that before. So in, in the next round, there we go, the, um, another enemy, another one of our ships is, has been um, summoned in. And so we, basically, I'm, I've also played it, I'm not doing anything with it. Each ship has a normal attack move and a special move, maybe an attack, maybe a support move. Um, and each ship is very just color coded, so there's I think red, blue, green. And red's better than green, or I don't ever way which way around it goes. But there's just a kind of a very simple color class. Um, there's a some some colors better against other colors. Um, so I'm trying to say so there's some tactics in there. But I've just auto played it, which is I think for these um, free to play mobile games where um, it's all about the meta game. It's not really the gameplay it needs to be interesting, I suppose. Um, and obviously with Battlestar Galactica, you have the whole IP and you have the ships and. Um, you have the, obviously the characters we're seeing there and the story that's going on. Um, but the interesting thing that you have here, which I didn't really mention during the um, uh, battle, is well, we go, okay, we're going to have this. Da, da, da. Um, so we can see here the population is going down. So it's kind of a nice, interesting thing to kind of speed you up. Um, so we press here to do the kind of speed jump. We can just see during the attack how much population we lost. And there is this thing, I don't quite know how it's going to play out. Um, but pop, when you get further into the, into the game, the more population you have, and obviously with Battlestar Galactica, the whole point is you're trying to save the human race, and there's not many of you left, so there's kind of the whole thing about population all the time. So these are the rewards I got for doing that simple mission. Another blueprint you can see. So kind of going back to kind of the screen where we at, where were we looking like when we started. So we've got these things, these these um, rewards that we can get. We've got another ship we can um, uh, launch and then add or use the resources on that. Um, we can see at the top we're level two, so early stages of the game, and the population now is steady. Um, but you can see here we, as we kind of our fleet level, which is basically our player level levels up, we get to different um, different ships and different populations, and, and it's kind of a you know, all games have X, it's effectively it's an XP, but it's quite a nice way of doing it within the um, within the kind of IP of Battlestar Galactica. That the population is the thing that will be your leveling, um, your, your your leveling kind of a number attribute uh, resource so there we go that is Battlestar Galactica Squadrons as I say it's in soft launch at the moment um, no idea when it's coming out I imagine um, it will come out fairly soon I would think and it seems like a very um, doesn't do anything particularly uh, innovative but does all the things you expect from a card based game um, with and um, within the Battlestar Galactica universe which is kind of um, will be the big draw I imagine for, for most people who want to play so thanks for watching this is what we do on the long view we play free to play mobile games um, as long as we can and we talk about the things we like and the things we don't like and any kind of interesting innovation systems the way um, the game design is kind of interlinked with the IP that kind of thing so if that's your uh, what you like um, listening to and watching uh, don't forget to subscribe um, thanks for watching and hope to see you again soon